Hi, Assalamualaikum. Hi, how are you? How's everything? I hope your day is great. You? It's not opening. <laughs> I hope your day is great. I actually. So, today's live is to um, announce the winners because I had a fantastic giveaway. And of course, I'm here with you for the next 15 minutes. So, I would love you to ask me any of your questions because that's why I'm here to answer all your questions. And I love you so much. And thank you so much for being there. Hi, Hindu. Love my Minna and Muna. Okay, so actually, I had the winners here and it's not working anymore. So, I don't know who won. There are three people that won. Uh, the incredible gift giveaway that I like to do. I actually, hi, actually I would love to do like every week or two weeks a giveaway. What do you think about that? Because giveaways are so nice and, and they're awesome and they share the spirit of sharing. That's first. Hey Naz, I love you Naz, you're amazing. So this uh, announcement is for a gift giveaway announcement. So I was saying that I love to share what I love the most is fun and an awesome vibes to brush the teeth. And that's why I, ha I have an awesome gift giveaway. And I think you know what is in the gift giveaway, which is first is an electric brush. And the electric brush could be for a boy and a girl. And if you want the gift giveaway, you will be winning an electric brush. And if you didn't win the electric brush, there is always another time for you to take part in the gift giveaway, which will be soon. And, and more importantly, more importantly, if you don't win and you still want to buy it for your kids, I would suggest you buy the electric brush because it's so super duper important to let kids have fun while they're brushing and the electric brush does that. Oh, and more importantly, it's not just to have fun, it's to, ha to help kids brush the teeth better and more efficiently. And that is why what I always suggest, see, because I'm the clinic, I have so many things to show you, which is, this is the tooth. It's, it's, you think it's so large? I love it for kids. <laughs> I love it for kids. It's amazing. I don't have my electric brush here, but if I had an electric brush, I would always focus to brush for tooth. Okay, and, and don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It is actually perfect for kids and it's advertised for kids. So it is the best. And by the way, always look at the size of the head. And this head is the smallest. So my first gift giveaway is the electric brush. And my second gift giveaway is a toothpaste. Again, that's yummy and flavorful. That helps kids want to brush. Because again, it doesn't make sense. If you're just asking the child to do something as a chore without them having fun and be entertained and kids love to be engaged that's why that's why I always give them choices always give them something they like uh, and always ask them what they want so for me to ask you what do you want for your gift giveaway what do you want for your next gift giveaway there are three winners for this uh, gift giveaway. I know and appreciate everybody that took part. Thank you so much. Appreciate you loads. Um, of course, I use uh, I use a giveaway random picker that shows me uh, who won, and it's a program, and it tells me uh, how many comments and how many entries, and then it it randomly picks them. Okay, Dr. Hisham, if you have a smaller model, tell me which one it is. Anna, I love Oral-B because Oral-B for me is the smallest head brush. I love it. Thank you, Rimaru. There will be another one. Tell me which one do you want next time so that I can, you know, inshallah keep it so that next time I can keep that in mind and buy it and, uh, you know, distribute it. Hi, Dr. Sara Hashtini. So, I was saying, that it's all about fun and entertainment and yes don't forget to ask me your questions because it's all about your questions now i do get the question which is how much fluoride to apply uh how much is the concentration for fluoride and how much fluoride to apply now look i want to tell you something let's say these are some of the samples i have in the clinic again i'm not talking about brands or anything but look this is 
it's written here 500 i don't know if you can see can you see 500 and look 500 parts per million of fluoride is not enough for kids it is not enough the new studies are saying 1000 is minimum for two years plus or actually they're saying two years plus but you can actually use it for one year plus so for one year plus old child use 1000 ppm let me show you another one which would have that ha this way okay anything that would have 1000 like this one okay yeah this one is quite clear can you see 1000 so one plus children 1000 okay and this one is 1002 look it's written here it's written here i don't know if you can see it it's the last line right can you see it can you see it <laughs> make your people do that anyway so I love your questions, so don't forget to keep them coming. I'm gonna show you how much right now. I was just talking about the fluoride concentrations. I can speak in Arabic if you would like me to. I just feel that most of the people following me are speaking in English, so I'm speaking in English. So don't forget to ask me if it's in Arabic, I'll answer. If it's in English, I'll answer. So I was talking about uh, toothpaste, that's why it's in part, a big part of my giveaway. And Drimaru, thank you so much for your question. I love your question, you're asking me. My daughter is three and she's very picky about toothpaste, any particular brand that I can buy for her. So now I want to tell you something. Picky kids are kind of the norm now. Kids don't want to brush, they don't want the paste, they don't want to do anything. They brush with, you know, a tantrum, so that's normal. So now look, she's three. That's why I suggest for a three-year-old uh, Vitus or Hello Kitty from Spinney's, this one is the one that has a thousand and this one that has a thousand. My suggestion for you, Rimaru, is buy as many as possible and every day give her a chance to pick and choose between two only. So let's say buy two or three and every day give her two to choose from. And when she chooses, then you know which one she likes most, but always make her choose so that she picks one and says yes to using it. Now, I always get this question. So, sorry, we said one to five, five or six is 1,000 toothpaste. These are two are 1,000. And we're not gonna use anything with 500. 500 is way too little. And then, is six plus? Yes, six plus kids, or five to six really, or six plus, they use 1,450. And this one is 1,450. And look, it's, I don't know if you can see. Hey, Afla, we miss you. Where is that? Can you see the number? I don't know if you can see the number, but this is the fluoride concentration that makes the teeth super duper strong and makes the teeth um, stronger, which means healthier, which means you need the dentist less. So I hope that makes sense. Thank you, Rimeru. Yes, please do that and let me know how it goes because when you give kids lots of chances, kids are actually happier to come and sit and actually cooperate. So now we spoke about the electric brush, which is amazing, and the toothpaste and which toothpaste to use. Um, now there are other toothpaste in the market that you might would want, especially if your child has a lot of decay or they have weak teeth, we call them. Okay. Myself, I really love MI Paste. And why do I love MI Paste? Is it because it has, I don't know if you can tell, it has calcium. Okay. Calcium, fluoride, and phosphate. And that helps the tooth of the child be stronger and awesomer. And it helps weak teeth because now, unfortunately, a lot of kids have weaker and weaker teeth, which is not good for a kid. But anyway, that is what is happening. So it helps our kids have greater teeth because it has calcium and phosphate. And what is the tooth made up of? Calcium and phosphate. I do love your questions. And if you do have a question for me, I would love to answer it. I had three winners picked. So the question is, when do you want the next giveaway? I think I should sh I should do it super duper soon so that, you know, that the effect of this one doesn't go. Like we do it super duper soon so people are still excited. People still want to win the electric brush. 
uh, and um, and everything else, so the electric brush, the toothpaste, whatever you want. So the what? Yes, sir. I'm not going. اللي هيسألني بالعربي هتكلم بالعربي اللي هيسألني بالإنجليزي هتكلم بالإنجليزي أغلب متابعيني بيكلموا بالإنجليزي لو عايز تسألني سؤال اسألني لو مش عايز أنا هكلم إنجليزي باي أوكي سوري ما لوس ونس بوسبل يس يس أبسلوتلي أي ويل دو إت أي ويل دو إت لتس سي إن ويك إز ويك أوكي دكتور موهان Hey, Dr. Mohan Oh, I think so much I appreciate you It's what makes kids uh, you know I uh, feel nicer and comfortable and you know they, they they feel happier and feel at ease because it's all about ease and, and it's all about having fun at the dentist you know it it is a difficult situation to start with and it's challenging for kids to accept you know and if the environment is an adult environment the kid is not going to you know, to, to fit in. And if they don't fit in, then they're not gonna feel comfortable and they don't feel comfortable, it's not gonna happen, right? So, I, I love your questions. I spoke about the electric brush. I like this brush too. And this is one of the brushes that I would recommend. And the only reason I would recommend it is it has full of bristles. It has a head full of bristles. There's no spaces. And look at another toothpaste, sorry, toothbrush and you would find bristles in between. So be careful. Always use one that is super full of bristles because the more bristles we have, the more it means it is effective in removing the plaque. And one more thing that most of the children that I see do is, you know, they are cleaning the teeth and everybody and and many kids are like no but i brush my teeth and i believe them they are brushing their teeth but the thing is they're not brushing their teeth effectively and what happens is look do you brush teeth yes and then they're and it's not super effective and what i suggest instead is brushing like this one to this time and make sure to brush the gum margin that is surrounding the tooth because that is what keeps uh, it keeps the plaque on the teeth if you don't brush it okay so don't forget something very important is always brush the part of the gum that collects food that's why brush every tooth this time and 45 degrees to the tooth and brush, 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 brush. Does that make sense? I like it when you ask me questions because it does make sense to me, especially that I see lots of kids just brush like this. And what that happens is it doesn't, it's not effective. And if it's not effective, what happens is decay and cavities happen. I love your questions and don't forget something. Even uh, if I have kids, are small as soon as their adult teeth touch we have to start flossing between the teeth and i can show you flossing in a second now but i have a question and if you have any question please ask me because that is why i'm here and of course after this i'll announce the three winners of the uh of the giveaway okay so nesim the high doctor is me my baby girl is 16 months and she started teething is there anything you can advise for baby teething okay Nasima, I love your question. Yeah, Nasima, I really have a lot to advise you. Now, it's good to be proactive about teething, especially that you know that her teeth uh, are coming and she would be just like, you know, unhappy and she'd be like, you know, uh, trying to hold everything, trying to put everything in her mouth, salivating, you know, so it's not an easy time for her. So my first suggestion, and thank you me, thank you so much for asking me that question. My first suggestion is the teether brush, okay? So the teether brush is so nice and it has, you know, has a baby board, so you can actually give it to her and trust her with it for a bit. And I would suggest putting it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge, give it to her, and then brush her teeth. So this is for teething and this is for brushing the teeth and the gums. Even if she does not have gums, let's say, I mean, even if she has no teeth, yeah. Brush the baby teeth that are out like this. They're so cute, the baby teeth when they're out like this, huh? Okay, and then make sure to brush the gum if there is only gum. Come on, nice and gentle because these are very nice and gentle. 
and this puts it in the fridge. Now, one more thing I can help you with, which is use the gingy gel paste. The gingy gel paste is amazing for teething babies. It will really, really, really help her a lot. I am, oops, I am about to wrap up for the day because my patience is waiting for now. It's my 2.30 o'clock. So I gotta go. Uh, I really wanted to announce the name of the giveaway winners. I'm sorry, I am going to announce it on my post instead because that phone died and I don't have <laughs> I don't have the names remembered because I don't remember anything anymore. So thank you, Nasima. Super thanks a lot. I appreciate your question. Don't forget to ask me a question because that is what I love to do. Is I love to answer your questions with whatever I know and I love to help people out. Thank you so much for taking big part of my giveaway for this time. Don't forget to request what other giveaways will make you happier, will help your kids. I'm here for you. And um, that's it. Until next time. Bye. Have a lovely day. Bye bye bye.